topic is National Pension Scheme that is NPS. As the name suggests, it is a pension scheme which is a Government of India initiative to provide pension opportunity to every Indian. It was floated in January 2004 for new government recruits. NPS is compulsory for all the central government employees along with some state government employees who have joined after January 2004. NPS was made open to all from May 2009. The basic objective of this scheme is to inculcate a habit of saving specifically for retirement. Any resident Indian between the age of 18 to 60 years can open an NPS account. This account is not compulsory for government employees joining before January 2004, but if they wish, they can also open an NPS account. Let us look at the taxation part of NPS. A maximum of 1.5 lakh rupees of investments in NPS can be claimed for tax deductions under the overall limit of the Section 80C. An additional 50,000 rupees can be claimed for tax deductions under the Section 80CC D1B. NPS has an EET status that is exemption on investment, exemption on returns earned, but taxation on redemption. 40% of the couples that you get on retirement would be tax free. Let us look at the type of NPS accounts. The first type is a tier 1 account, which is a mandatory account for NPS subscribers. As far as the government employees are concerned, they have to contribute 10% of their basic salary plus DA to this NPS account and government makes an equal contribution. For other subscribers, they have to open an account with minimum 500 rupees and they have to contribute 6000 rupees each year. If you are a private sector employee, you would be given an option to choose between NPS and Employees Provident Fund. If you go for NPS, you would generally have to make contribution of about 10% of your basic plus DA and an equal contribution would be made by your employer. Now this contribution that your employer makes into your NPS account is not taxable and can be seen under the head 80CCD2 in your Form 16. The next is Tier 2 account. This is a non-mandatory account for NPS subscribers. This is a type of savings account from which you can make withdrawals anytime. No contributions would be made by the government or employer in this account and no tax exemptions are available for investments into NPS through the Tier 2 account. You would need at least 1000 rupees to open a Tier 2 kind of account and then onwards minimum contribution amount is 250 rupees. Minimum account balance has to be rupees 2000 rupees at the end of each financial year and the treatment of returns from Tier 2 account is same as that of mutual funds. You can invest into NPS through various fund managers. These fund managers invest into equity, corporate debt and government securities in varying proportions. When you invest into NPS, you have three choices, active choice, auto choice and default choice. In active choice, you can decide the proportion of your money getting invested into equity, corporate debt or government securities, but not more than 50% can be allocated to equities. In auto choice, the proportion of investments into these options is based upon your age. Till the time you're 35 years old, 50% would be allocated to equity and 30% to corporate debt. And then onwards, equity portion would be reduced by 2% and corporate debt portion would be reduced by 1% each year because of which by the time you're 55 years old, your equity allocation would be 10% as well as your corporate debt allocation would be 10%. In the default choice, up to 55% of the money is allocated to government securities, up to 40% to corporate debt, up to 15% to equities and 5% is invested into money market instruments. Government employees have to opt for the default option. Equity portion of NPS is invested into index stocks. Index stocks are the stocks which make up the Nifty and the Sensex. There are 7 fund managers through which you can invest into NPS. The seven fund managers are HDFC Pension Management Company, ICICI Prudential Life Insurance Company, Kotak Mahindra Asset Management Company, LIC Pension Fund, Reliance Capital Asset Management Company, SBI Pension Fund and UTI Retirement Solutions. You can open a Tier 1 and Tier 2 account through PSU banks, many private banks like ICICI, HDFC, Kotak etc. and through post offices. For opening an NPS account, you would need to fill up the required form, submit required documents along with your KYC documents. After your request is processed, the central record keeping agency would send you 
a permanent retirement account number. This account number is unique and portable and would stay with you as long as the NPS account does. NPS account has a minimum account opening fee and the fund management fee is also minimal, which is 0.1%. After being in the scheme for 10 years, 25% of the contributions that you have made can be withdrawn for reasons like child's higher education or marriage, for construction or buying of your first house, for critical illnesses or accidents or life-threatening diseases to self, spouse, dependent children and dependent parents. You can make three withdrawals with a gap of five years. This gap is not applicable in case of critical illness, accident or life-threatening diseases. Let us discuss the exit options of NPS. If you retire before your age of 60 years, 80% of your corpus has to be utilized to buy annuity and you can withdraw 20% of the amount by paying taxes according to your tax lab. If you retire at the age of 60 years, you can withdraw 60% of the amount by paying taxes on 20% of the corpus and remaining 40% has to be utilized to buy annuity. Remember, returns from annuity are taxed according to your tax lab. On death of the NPS account holder, the entire corpus is given to the nominee. Friends, hope the video has given you a fair idea about NPS. Thanks for watching the video. Watch this space for more such topics. Until then, happy investing. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below our videos. And if you like our videos, please do subscribe. Thank you.